April 15th, uh, we were enjoying a lovely day. Uh, we were following my older daughter, Danielle, as she was participating in her first Boston Marathon. We were actually probably less than a minute from finishing the race um, when the first bomb went off. We saw it in the distance and I thought it was some sort of celebration. And then um, the second one went off, like literally right next to us. Danielle Rennie was not hurt. However, at the finish line, her mother, father, and sister were injured with Jillian's life hanging in the balance. Our attention turned very quickly to uh, my daughter Jillian who was uh, severely injured and it was very clear that she was um, you know, in a life-threatening situation. No civilian should see what we saw that day and no mom should see their child with such a devastating injury. But once we arrived at the Brigham, I felt like we had had the best luck in the world. As soon as we got to the hospital, just felt like a huge, overwhelming sense of relief and safety and, and care. Jillian, an accomplished dancer, was now facing the likelihood of amputation. She had a very bad injury to her right leg and a significant soft tissue injury only to her left leg. Remarkably, the main blood vessels and nerves to her lower leg were intact, and that is what uh, set us on the direction of limb salvage rather than amputation. The doctors at Brigham and Women's Hospital devised an emergency plan to save her legs and restore function to her damaged limbs. We knew she was a, a very athletic, uh, she was a dancer. We wanted to give her every opportunity for that because we knew she was going to fight for that. It was a scary, scary injury and um, it, it was really important to me that, that they were trying so hard to save my legs. First she could sit on the side of the bed and dangle her legs over the edge of the bed and then she could use a walker and then she could use her crutches. Okay, first walking. Four months later to the day, Jillian began stepping strong again. <laughs> I think Jillian's recovery has been spectacular. This is a woman that lost a good bit of her muscle in her lower limb. With the support of her care team and her family, Jillian made it to her senior prom, walked to receive her high school diploma, and headed off to college on time. Her determination to move forward is an inspiration. I learned that Jillian is the strongest, most amazing human being. Actually, I didn't learn that. I already knew that about her. I have always known all of the amazing qualities that she has, um, like her strength, her courage, her motivation, drive. Not long after we had spent time at the Brigham, we, it became clear to us that we really wanted to think of some way to give back to the community of caregivers that had taken such good care of Jillian. And we'd like to see that get even further and to make even more innovation and progress so that um, it touches upon people who are involved in any kind of trauma. The Rennies are launching an unprecedented fund in Jillian's name to accelerate trauma research and discovery at the Brigham. The fund will fuel cutting edge research, innovation, and programs in trauma healing and limb reconstruction. The fund is a combination of all the different aspects um, that went into my care. I had a complex injury that required lots of different people in different medical fields to help, sort of like a patchwork quilt. One part of the fund will help researchers improve bone regeneration using advanced stem cell techniques. Researchers will also find ways to regenerate skin and heal wounds to reduce pain and restore limb function for amputees. The second component of the Stepping Strong Fund is a trauma fellowship and it will train the next generation of trauma fellows and clinicians, a combination of the emergency room, orthopedics, and plastic surgery. The third area is a Young Innovators Awards program that will invite scientists and researchers to submit cutting-edge breakthrough ideas for all types of trauma research. Jillian and her family are stepping strong again, hoping to make great strides for trauma survivors whether their trauma stems from disease, an accident, sports injury, or military service. They want to help others thrive, like Jillian, who is determined to dance again. It's obviously hard to know that it might never be um, the same. I'm still really hoping that I'll be able to dance again someday. In her young life, Jillian has had to cope with the unexpected, 
Her bravery and determination to face adversity and pursue her life goals are the inspiration for the Stepping Strong Fund. You can make a difference by making a gift to the fund so others can follow in her footsteps and start Stepping Strong.